This year's ASTS meeting is actually one of the biggest we've had. We have over 1,000 registrants here, including over 300 residents. We're offering things for not only residents, but also young physicians who may not have had a lot of training in cosmetic surgery when they were in residency themselves. In addition, we have a grassroots public advocacy campaign, and it's no secret that I think all doctors, especially those in private practice, are facing increasing pressures with ACOs coming into communities and now with the SGR. So we have a campaign that's called Repeal the SGR, where most surgeons are actually making signs that say, I'm a Mohs surgeon and I'm important to treating the cancer of my patients. They need me. Repeal the SGR. It's really to show people that if you're a Medicare patient, and that's really the time of your life where you've worked your entire life to get to that point, and now you're going to have decreasing benefits, that really seems unfair. And to say that that's not going to impact their care is just false. And so it's really putting a human face to the need to not have the repeal happen. The other thing that's exciting about this year's meeting is we're talking a lot about mega combinations in dermatologic surgery. So not only doing surgery, but also fillers, neurotoxins, and lasers all at the same time. And there are some fantastic results. Um, there's also new products that will be coming out to market in the next couple of months. Some of them are for the submental chin, the fat area that happens here, that we've not really had a great solution for it. So we had one session dedicated solely to you know what to do about that neck. In addition, Voluma is coming out, and so we've had some great presentations on how to use that product, which is really a high density, high viscosity of filler to really help volumize the face. And we've had experts, Gene Carruthers, Tina Alster, talking about how to use those products in combination with lasers, even on the same day to achieve the best look for our patients with, with as little downtime as possible because you're doing it all at the same time. In terms of the laser category, you know, I think we continue to talk about non-ablative and ablative of resurfacing. Um, that's been um, part of our arsenal for a long time, but there are some new wavelengths that people are trying out. Um, a thulium laser, which is a little less invasive. And then of course, in the areas of fat, there are great injectables now to help with uh, fat reduction and also the cryolipolysis, which continues to be really popular. In terms of the fillers, Voluma is a big new thing. Um, people are using a lot of Belotero now, which is a thinner hyaluronic acid for very fine lines and trying to get their hands on that and getting used to the product and how it works. Um, and I think that in terms of overall aesthetics, the, the move has clearly been away from filling lines into facial volumization um, and really combating the concept of facial descent, you know, not just that lines and wrinkles are there. We're not treating folds, we're treating the overall aesthetic look of the patient. Um, so I think that's been some really fun stuff and again looking off face, chest, neck, you know, especially in women the decolletage, backs of hands. So I think there are a lot of interesting things that are uh, now in the arsenal of dermatologists that if you looked three or four years ago, we were waiting for it and now a lot of that stuff is here and we're learning how to really maximize its use.